So this video is for anyone using a Chromebook or any older computer where you'll have to access Photoshop through the Windows Virtual Desktop. Um, so if you haven't accessed Photoshop through the Windows Virtual Desktop yet, uh, check out the previous video um, about accessing that through the Windows Virtual Desktop. So that's the other video for Chromebooks. So if you've already accessed and logged into uh, cte.nsd.org and logged into Photoshop, it should look something like this. Um, but for Photoshop on computers, normally we go to File and Open to uh, find a new photo to edit. Um, or click this open button here. But if you do that, um, you might notice that what it looks like here is it looks like a Windows desktop or a Windows computer. Um, and that means that if we go to that particular computer and look in pictures or documents or any of these, there's not going to be anything there. So what we are going to be doing in order for there to be something here is we're going to be using the OneDrive here. So there'll be a OneDrive folder. Um, yours will be empty when you first start. So we need to get our photos into OneDrive first in order to access them in Photoshop through this Windows Virtual Desktop. Um, so what we need to do before we even start editing photos is we need to go to OneDrive and upload our photos to that. So that is just OneDrive.nsd.org. So you can open that in another tab and still have Photoshop in an another tab here. Um, and so for this, it will just have you log in with your student email. So just your student number at apps.nsd.org. And it will walk you through the steps of entering your password. That should be the same for everything else that you use for school, like your email. Um, and then you can just say don't show this again so that um, it doesn't keep asking you every time. And so yours will probably look completely blank when you first start, um, but this is OneDrive. It looks and works pretty much the same as Google Drive. Um, it just will put that folder into the open part of Photoshop for us and Google Drive doesn't do that. Um, so you can upload photos by clicking the upload button here, um, but I really encourage you to make new folders for each project that you do. Um, that way it's not a whole lot of photos all kind of mixed together um, and everything getting kind of disorganized. Um, if you make folders for each project that we do, things will stay nice and organized and it will help you uh, find the photos that you need to edit. Um, so for example, I have a folder here called Elements and Principles that have all the photos in it for um, the Elements and Principles project. Um, but you can always click New and Folder and then create a new folder here. So let's say I'm going to call this Composition oops, for the Composition project, let's say. So now I have a folder here that's empty and I can put files in here. So there's a couple ways to add files onto OneDrive. You can just, if you have your browser only covering part of your screen, you can always click and drag files into here directly. Or you can click the upload button and click files. If you have a folder organized on your computer um, and you want to upload all the photos from that folder, you can select folder. Um, but I'm just going to select files here. I'm going to go to my photography folder on my computer. Yours will look a little bit different since you're using a Chromebook, um, but you should have a document section um, where you can put your photos on your computer before they go on here. So, where did my photography folder go? Oh, I'm on desktop. I need to be in documents. So let's say I'm going to select a few photos here. You can select individual photos 
by holding down the control button and selecting, oops, selecting multiple photos here and there, or you can click and drag and select all of them. Um, but either way, you can select the photos you need and then click open. And that will load all your photos onto OneDrive. It might take a minute to load them. And then if you go to my files, then you'll have, eventually you'll have multiple photo folders here with your photos in them. And then you'll be able to access those on Photoshop. So if you go over to your other tab that has the vir Windows Virtual Desktop with Photoshop open on it, you can then click the open button and go to the OneDrive folder. It should say OneDrive North Shore School District. You can click on the folder. It looks like it might be a little bit delayed from when you put things on here. Maybe let's click sync. Nope, that's not the right thing. I think it automatically just loads it on here, so it might take a minute. Um, but let's look at these here. So I can select, let's say this photo and click open. And that will open my photo in Photoshop here. Um, so you first need to put them on the OneDrive and then you can access them in Photoshop by opening that OneDrive folder. Um, it's pretty much the same thing in reverse if you are saving your photo. So you do have to save it after you've made some changes. So let's say I've done a few changes to it, made some marks on it, let's say, or made some adjustments. Then I can say File and save as. You want to make sure to say save as as opposed to save um, because save will save it over the top of your original image but we want to save this as a copy so we're going to say save as and you want to click save on your computer and then just in that same OneDrive folder in the same folder you created you want to save that in there. The one thing you do need to pay attention to though is that you rename it a different name than your original image, otherwise it will save it over the top of it. So we won't have this image anymore, it will be the edited version only. But we want to preserve that original image as well, so I'm just going to keep the same name and write edited at the end. And we want to make sure it's a JPEG, so if it says Photoshop file for any reason, just make sure that you're selecting JPEG, just the plain JPEG, not 2000 or stereo, just JPEG. And then save. And OK. And now that edited version and the original will be in your OneDrive folder. So we have Emphasis 3, which was my original one. And it looks like it takes a little bit to load it, but eventually Emphasis 3 edited will show up. Maybe we should refresh it a little bit. It looks like it's just a little bit delayed, but that edited version will show up on here. But that is how you access um, your photos through Photoshop on Windows Virtual Desktop.